Why is it important to effectively implement the arms trade treaty? Because irresponsible arms transfers fuel brutal conflicts in places like Syria, Yemen, or South Sudan, and armed violence in Venezuela, the Philippines, or Jamaica. The ATT Working Group on Effective Treaty Implementation took concrete steps this year to advance the implementation of Articles 5, 6, 7, and 11. Article 5 on general implementation is the treaty's foundation, providing um, guiding steps for governments to establish national control systems. The Working Group on Treaty Implementation developed a list of elements that states must consider when developing a national control system, including a competent national authority, national control lists, um, documents, training, uh, and as well as enforcement. It also developed a list of resources that governments can um, reference in order to successfully implement these obligations. At the heart of the treaty, Article 6 and 7 contain states' responsibilities to monitor arms transfers in accordance with international law, including international humanitarian and international human rights law. This year, to support states' efforts to implement these articles, the Working Group developed a list of resources and documents that governments can reference when conducting a risk assessment, as well as a list of elements that states must um, consider when implementing Article 6. But states must do more than develop lists. They must take concrete actions to implement the treaty and reduce human suffering. So if you will be in Tokyo for the CSP this year, please urge your government to meaningfully discuss the implementation of Article 7.4 on gender-based violence. The ATT is the first global instrument that meaningfully connects arms transfers with gender-based violence. But no progress can be made without concrete proposals from governments towards the development of the GBV provision and its implementation.